Hey everyone, Howie Fisher from Fisher's Flies. Thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to be tying up a classic dry fly pattern. This is the Parachute Adams in a classic color, gray with a orange parapost for a hot spot for out of visibility. For the hook in the vise, I'm going to be using an A-Rex Freshwater 503. This is a dry fly light hook in size 14. Obviously tie the size you need. For the thread today, I'm using UTC Ultra Thread 70 Denier in Blue Done. You can use gray, you can use tan, use whatever thread you need to match the, the color of the fly that you're, you're doing. I'm going to get started with my thread right behind the hook eye. And I'm going to start taking my thread all the way back to the bend of the hook before snipping or breaking off my thread. Once I get my thread back to the bend of the hook, I'm going to grab my tailing material. Here I'm using CDL in white and black, or Grizzly. I'm going to go ahead and pull off about a dozen or so fibers. For this size 14, if you're going smaller, you might want to go a little bit less, uh, really up to personal preference. Once I've got my tips aligned and my fibers in hand, I'm going to measure this tail about the length of the body, and then I'm going to transfer my fingers like this. I'm going to take two looser wraps to make sure that's secure, and then make sure that those fibers are on top. Once I've done that, I'm going to bring this actually all the way up to right again behind the eye. And uh, the reason why I like doing this is because it gives the para post a little bit more something to grab onto. If you've watched my videos, you'll notice that I prefer to do that in a lot of flies because stuff, things like para posts have the tendency to slip and slide. On this specific color, I'm using orange, fluorescent orange from Orvis. And a little tip that you can do is just add a little bit of super glue before adding your para post. This will help it stay where it is and prevent it from sliding around the post or the shank of the hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this underneath my hook actually and pull it straight up. I'm going to go ahead and take a couple wraps to get it just where I want it. And once I do that, uh, again, another tip you can do is just twist it one direction. And then what that will do is that will actually set the uh, any additional super glue that has traveled up the para post. And again, this will just make tying this para post so much easier. If you've ever tied a fly with a para post, it can be a headache. But again, this is a little tip that should help you to uh, make this fly just a slightly easier, a little less of a headache to tie. So I'm going to bring my thread back to the end of the fly, and I'm going to grab my dry fly dubbing, which is super fine in blue done here. This is just a light gray. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit, and this is a fly that it is very true to say less is more. I just want to color the fly, or sorry, color the thread with this dubbing here, as you can see, just enough uh, to change the color. If it helps you, you could use black thread here and that will help you to see a little bit better uh, how much you're adding. But again, just a little bit goes a long way uh, when doing these types of dry flies. You can see here doing it that way builds up just a perfect little slender body, not too much, not too little. And I'm going to bring the thread to right behind the eye now and I'm going to take my dry fly hackle here, which again I'm using Grizzly. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a couple fibers off the bottoms on both sides and then with the feather facing away from me, I'm actually going to take a couple of fibers off of the bottom as well. And the reason why I'm doing this is because once I wrap it up the para post, if you take a couple fibers off the bottom of the feather, it will help the feather to wrap a little bit more uniformly. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up the para post a little bit past my original tie-in point. And then I'm going to bring it back down and back to the hook eye. Next I'm going to grab my thorax, which here is uh, Hemingway's Hair Dubbing Plus UV. And I'm using this darker gray color. I like a little bit of contrast on my, my thorax. 
And the reason why I'm using this UV flash dubbing is I just think that every fly benefits from just a, a little bit of flash. And the flash in this, once you wrap it up, is very subtle. You'll see here in a moment. Same here though, you don't really need a whole lot of dubbing. You don't want it to be too much of a contrast uh, size-wise from the rest of the fly. And just make sure you do some figure eighting wraps to try and cover up that para post or whatever's left of it in the body. So again, you can see I just built up the body slightly larger than the abdomen or the rest of the fly. Again, you don't want to build up anything too bulky. So now I'm going to reorient my hook and I'm gonna wrap this with the hackle fibers facing upward. So again, you can see here that when I wrap this hackle, because I pulled off those extra fibers off the bottom, it helps that to really ensure that the hackle fibers are facing upward. What this does is it really makes sure and really helps you to finish the fly. This will ensure when you wrap it this direction that you don't get any fibers facing downward. You don't get them sticking into the eye, preventing you from threading your tippet. Um, you don't have any issue with trapping extra fibers when you whip finish like you saw right there. Uh, just really helps, like I said, create a cleaner fly and helps finishing and fishing the fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish like you saw and then snip off my thread and my feather. And then I'm gonna go ahead and touch just a, a little bit of UV resin to those thread wraps to that knot to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. Lastly, I'm going to reorient my fly to the correct direction and snip off that para post, snip it to the length that you prefer. And there you have it. This is a classic dry fly, the Parachute Atoms. Tie them up in different colors, fish them, let me know what you think. Thanks for checking in.